Good morning. I'm glad you've joined me for this time of devotion. In the late 1970s, Pablo Escobar, the Colombian drug lord, imported four hippos, three female, one male, to add to his menagerie on his estate, Hacienda La Poles. And when he died with a bullet in his head after a shootout with the police in 1993, most of the animals on his estate, including elephant and rhino, were relocated, but not the hippos. There are now about 170 hippos causing immense damage to the environment. They've been declared noxious invaders. Words like sterilize, euthanize, cull and relocate have been tossed around for some years. And sterilization of hippos is not easy. They're talking about 10,000 US dollars per hippo, per sterilization. And when you're looking at capturing a 3.5 ton hippo, uh, the plan to relocate them is, is fraught with difficulties and challenges. Uh, there's a plan afoot to move 70 of them to other sanctuaries across the world, but that doesn't solve the problem. And it would cost 3.5 million US dollars. And then as far as culling is concerned, I'm not sure what hippo steaks will taste like and how they will catch on. Of course, it would have been better if the hippos had never been introduced. But who was prepared to stand up to Escobar, who is described as a drug lord, a narco-terrorist and politician, the king of cocaine and the sole leader of the Medellin cartel, which monopolized the cocaine trade into the US in the 1980s and early 1990s. And the song asks, who let the dogs out? And we may well ask, who let the hippos out? Well, I guess uh, hippos are pretty difficult to contain. And Paul says exactly that about sin. It is difficult to contain. Paul has a long discussion about sin and in Romans chapter 7 he says in verse 14 he says we know that the law is spiritual but I am unspiritual sold as a slave into sin I do not understand what I do for what I want to do I do not do but what I hate I do and if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I, I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, it is the sin living in me that does it. And so I find this law at work. Although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being I delight in God's law, but I see another law at work within me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law at sin at work within me. What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so Escobar's hippos are just like that sin, without saying that hippos are bad or, or of the devil or anything like that. Of course, they're not. But you can't easily get rid of sin. You can't easily get rid of hippos. In verse 21, Paul says, Although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. Verse 15 says, I do not understand what I do. 
For what I want to do, I do not do, but what I hate, I do. Unlike Escobar's hippos, there is no dilemma to cull, relocate or sterilize. Verses 24 and 25 say, What a wretched man that I am! Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, we've let sin come into our lives. It's resident there. It's there all the time. And it causes havoc. Your word tells us that the wages of sin is death. And so, yes, we will die. But in the meantime, we need to be living a life of victory and a life of witness. We need to be in a relationship with you, Lord Jesus. And we don't know how to deal with it. And even when we read the words of Scripture, Oh, what a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? And with Paul we say, Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. That Lord Jesus, you came to deliver us from sin. You came to die to pay for our sins. And you did die. You descended into hell, the creed tells us. And on the third day you rose again from the dead and you live forevermore. You broke the power of sin and you broke the power of death. And it's in you that we have the victory. It's in the resurrection that we know that we, we can be delivered from sin, taken out of the clutches of Satan. And, O oh Lord, grant that we would have the grace to come to you, to seek that deliverance, to seek that forgiveness, and to know that we have eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go well, and walk with the Lord, and walk in his paths of righteousness, and know that he is guiding you. Goodbye.